Welcome to the Sage Pasta Accounting How To video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to process customer documents. Please note that if you are using inventory, you will need to bring in your stock either via an inventory journal, good receive note, or supplier tax invoice before you can sell these items to your customers. In order to process customer documents, open your Sage Pasta Accounting program and open your company data set. Click on Process Customers and the Process Customer Processing screen will display. By document type, select Tax Invoice. And where you see Customer, click in the box and select the magnifying glass. All of your customers loaded on the system will display. Select the customer that you wish to use and press Tab. All the relevant information that you filled in on the Customer Master file will pull through. Where you see period and date, select the period and date that you wish to use when processing the document. If you select a date that does not fall within the period, you will receive a warning. The date you have entered is out of period. We therefore strongly advise that if you have the option to select the period, you select the period first and then select the date that falls within that period. Where you see customer reference, please enter a customer reference. This can be the reference that you wish the customer to use when making a payment, or this can be the order number that you use to create the tax invoice. Sales codes refer to the salesman processing the tax invoice. You would set this up under the Edit Customer Sales By sales code, select the magnifying glass and select the relevant salesman. If you do not make use of sales codes, you can leave this blank. By discount, you can set up an overall discount for the invoice. If you are going to use inventory and you did not select the option to allow invoice discount, those items will be excluded from the overall discount. You can also leave this as 0.00 to apply no discount. Where you see type, if you are using inventory from the list, ensure that you select for item code and tab to the code. Select the magnifying glass and all of the inventory items loaded on the system will display. Select the relevant item and tab to the quantity and enter the quantity that the customer is purchasing. Next, enter the tax to use for the item and enter the price. Please note that you will be asked to either enter an inclusive or exclusive price, depending on the process option you selected when you created the customer. You will need to do this for all of the items the customer is purchasing. If, however, you do not use inventory, you would then select the option 6GL code. This will allow you to process directly to your chart of accounts. Tab to the code and select the magnifying glass. All of your accounts will display. Select the general ledger account that you wish to use. Please note that you can change the description. Once you have entered the correct description, you will notice that you cannot select a quantity. The reason for this is that you are processing directly to your general ledger account and you cannot sell for sales accounts, for example. Again, select the relevant tax type and enter the value. This is the overall value. Once you have entered your document, you would then need to update the document. If you select next document, you will be asked if you wish to print or email. If you do not get this option, this is because you have selected the customer to not print or email. You can also select whether you want to update your documents on completion of document or in batch mode. If you select it on completion of document, the document will update the moment you say next document or print. However, if you select it on completion of document, if you go to number and select the magnifying glass, your batch will display allowing you to open the document and make any relevant changes as the batch has not yet been updated to your general ledger chart of accounts. Once you are happy with all of your documents and you have ensured that everything is correct, you would then need to go to batch. If you receive a message, at least one document has not yet been printed, do you want to print these documents 
If you wish to print the documents, click on Yes. You will also receive a message that there may be invoices on hold. If there are, would you like to print these? Again, click on Yes if you wish to print the documents. You will then be asked to print, email or print and email, depending on your settings on the Customer Master. Make your selection and then click on OK. Or if you do not wish to print or email any of the documents, you can click on Cancel. The Process Customer Update Batch screen will display. You can select the option to back up before updating, or you can select to not back up before updating. If you tick the option and click on update, the file backup screen will display asking you where you wish to back up and to select the folder to back up to. Once you have made your selection, click on process. You will be asked to test the backup. Click on OK. Once the test is complete, you can click on close and the documents will update accordingly. If you now go to number and click on magnifying glass, you will be advised that no records are found. You have now processed your first customer tax invoice.